Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura in the booth with me is Rick Shavani. Hello. Hello, Jim. Oh baby, here we are again. I am so warm I can't remember anything that happened last week, but I'll soon remember because it's the glorious JFW and interesting stuff is always happening. Oh baby. Well, last week we we started the uh, tag team tournament, right, to dis to determine the number one contender for SummerSlam. And uh, we're opening tonight's show with two of the losing teams, which was the Glorious Ones and the newly formed Bullfighters, which is Fimey and Crusher. Oh yeah, that was an awesome start to the tournament last week. So many upsets, very much including nobody expected the Glorious Ones to lose. And Crusher and Famir were on an absolute tear. They looked for all the world like they won it, and then it got stolen from under their incredibly long noses in the case of one of them. <laughs> and obviously, that is not Crusher, because he's a Minotaur. Yeah. Crusher's... Uh, man, Crusher just has, like, sorry, a sorry, or something, Famer. doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't have a long nose at all. <laughs> Why would you say that? I, I, I'm slightly the pot calling the kettle black there as well, because i got a, a reasonable size honker on me, but, uh, but yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know why you're always horsing around when 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 we're talking about Crusher. It's very very disturbing. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, but wow, what a great matchup. Honestly, Crusher and Famia, way better tag team. Famia got loads of control over Crusher, which I was a bit worried about. They looked <laughs> awesome. The glorious ones are awesome. This is an excellent opening match. Yep. Good evening, JVG and the JFW universe. Glorious. Wait a wait a minute. That's just Wanger's music. Oh yeah. Where, where's Jim? Oh my God. Well. Uh, a money in the ass contract holder isn't he's just, here. He's just abandoned his tag team partner. Oh my God. He's been shown up on Friday Night Stand Firm, hasn't he? Uh, harassing JBG. Yeah, he certainly has. Yeah, he's, he's been a busy boy. But you, you can't be forgoing your your Monday Night Claw duties when you're contracted to Monday Night Claw. And especially when your friend needs you. You can't just leave your friend at his time in need like this. Oh, man, that's the... Yeah, he needs pretty, to get his act together. That's pretty horrendous. Oh, man. Well, if anyone can take on two, two men at once, it's Wanger, I guess. <laughs> He's six foot that, that nine. Is true. We've seen a we've seen a few handicap match upsets recently where the, the, the <laughs> one has beaten the many. Um, so uh, yeah, will we see that again here? T yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. Let's see if we get both Famir and Crusher out. Oh yeah, here oh, they boy. are. Oh boy. To be fair, Jimmy doesn't like the heat. Maybe it was just too hot for for Jim to make it to the arena. <laughs> maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe it's not abandoning him to hunt JBG and for the world title. You know, maybe it was just a heat. It doesn't take much for Jimmy to postpone things. This <laughs> this is true, Jim. You make a fair point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How's your banana kiss? <laughs> Fine, thanks, Dark Side. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that was brilliant. That was brilliant last night. I, 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 were you, were you around last night, Rick? No, no, I'm afraid I'm pretty busy on Sunday evening, so I, I'd love to watch it, but I don't, I don't tend to get to. Oh well, it was great. After, after five idiots, um, we educated Trent about the 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 great British tradition of banana cages. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's weird, isn't it? You just think things like saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to go make a cup of tea every five minutes is normal for everyone in the world and your banana cages, and then you, you tell them about it, and they're like, what are you on about? Exactly, yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> right, anyway, I'll just be right back and get this cup of tea. Yeah, no problem. I will actually somewhat talk about wrestling, and Wanger off to a great start, and he better be. Plays out Famir, or Famir with the counter jawbreaker. Wanger is going to need to find a huge performance. Hurricane Rana takedown. There's no guarantee that Fabio wouldn't beat Wanger in a one on one, let alone a handicap match. Maybe Crusher will go wild animal on us. Table leg Wanger can only hope. Oh my word. Look at that maneuver. Swinging Scorpion death drop for the top rope. Does it get any more devastating? Okay, shoulder tackle takedown from Wanger to turn things around. Take back control. Stops the arm of Fabio. Famir, normally it is best when there's weapons involved. Jawbreaker 
to Wanga. Hurricane Rana again. They may do far too well for a two on one for Wanga to have any chance. And here comes Crusher, one of the few JFW superstars bigger than Table Leg Wagger. And this is not the time you want to beat him. Oh my goodness. Oh God. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jim, this is this is terrible. I, I don't know how Wagger would be doing one on one at the moment, let alone two on one. This That's could be it. <laughs> right. So somehow and for some reason Wagger's gonna fight on. Oh look at that! Just <laughs> literally gets run over. How can oh, you do that to table leg Wagger? It's crazy, isn't it? Come on, Wagger, fighting back now. Drags Crusher away from Fame. That's a good strategy. He needs more of that. Crusher tries to get up, stomps him down, and again. Come on, come on, Wanga. Stop in there. Living daylights out of Crusher. Oh my God. Wrapping his arms around that mighty neck and under the snout. <laughs> Grabbing the horse by the horns, if you will. Bull by the bull. <laughs> it's nothing like a horse. Why do you keep saying this? <laughs> I, sorry, I just thought that was the saying. It was just a metaphor, Jim. Okay. Yes, Gorilla. Uh, Skuro. Yes, Skuro. <laughs> so I don't know why I said Gorilla. I don't know why I would associate Skuro Metal with Gorilla Metal, but yeah. Oh, yes, Skuro. Oh, that, uh... figure of four. <laughs> oh, wow. This could be we it. We have seen people tap for these situations. That is one way that Wenger could uh, get a cheeky, sneaky win. Just get the tap when the, uh, uh, the opponent's tag team partner is not expecting it. Unfortunately, on this occasion, Crusher does hang on. Eventually, Wanger actually let go there. Stays in control, though. Fantastic use of the stomps. And keeping Crusher on the floor, has he done enough? The mere thought so. Crusher had other ideas. <laughs> Jack Bull, Jack Bull, Daedal Quiz. Why are you talking about horses? It makes no sense. Makes no sense. It... it would initially appear that way, Skuro. We have absolutely no confirmation as to what's going on. But yes, Jimmy keeps showing up on Friday night stand firm. And then all of a sudden, he doesn't turn up to his contracted show and leaves his friend completely in the lurch, getting pulverized by, uh, by both of these superstars. Yeah, brutal. Oh, this, this is brutal as well. Fame going to town on the once pretty face of Table Egg Wangan. <laughs> Mrs. Wang is not going to be happy with this. No. Missile drop kick to the back of Table Leg Wang, beautifully executed. As only Famir can. Working over the arm now. Can't have much left in him here, Jim. No. Oh, God, he's rolled out. Well, that's probably a good idea. Needs the breather, but he might pay dearly. High risk, high remove. No, i counted. Oh, neckbreaker! Swinging neckbreaker onto the concrete. How many feet of concrete tonight, Jim? We've got nine feet of concrete tonight. That's not very many. <laughs> Table leg needs it to be more, but not right now. It's, it's, it's quite Captain a lot, him. Rick. Could you imagine nine feet of concrete? <laughs> 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 but yes, we've had True. more in the JFW. Yeah, we've it, had more. yeah, yeah. It's what, one of the lowest numbers we've had, but it, it is in its own right. Yeah, standalone, a great deal of concrete. It is true. <laughs> I just know how tough the JFW Superstars are! <laughs> Fame is gonna have to be! He eats ring post! We could have a count out! Ooh. Oh my Table god. Table Wagger! Try to hang in there for a double count out! I think he's got it! We're up to We're eight! Up to eight. He's gonna get it, Jim! We're up to nine! Oh my god! Oh, he's gonna win! He's, he's gonna, gonna win! win. He's <laughs> Wow, what a finish. Table leg wanger normally stands tall. He's standing extra tall tonight. <laughs> Absolutely incredible victory against all the odds. Bit beaten black and blue to a pulp for many a minute here. <laughs> and then last second, that roll in was right on it. And the ref gives it to him. He calls it in his favor. He could have said he didn't make it in time. But by a millisecond, he did, baby. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs>
<laughs> wow. Wow, what a performance. What a legend. Oh, no, I'm dude. so excited, Jim. I, I can hardly talk. It's left me completely hoarse. <laughs> yep. I knew that was coming, to be honest. Because <laughs> I thought of it earlier and I was going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was coming one way already. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so now we've got the Andorans versus the world famous Tomb Guardians. Oh, baby! So we're we're still on the uh, on the losing teams from last week, then, Jim. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Again, these these two both lost. Uh, so this is you know having a bit of a losers bracket as well, which uh, won't actually uh, you know mean anything. But hey, at least it's content. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if, if Table Leg Wanger <laughs> keeps winning handicap matches to win the losers bracket, that, that'll mean something in my book. Um, yeah, yeah two, two fantastic teams here. The Andorans on paper should be absolutely fantastic. Very rare store loss last week and, and Volk, the greatest Wimbledon champion of all time. The, the two Guardians looked amazing, didn't they, Jim? Very similar to Famir and Crusher. Looked absolutely beautiful in the ring. Uh, and then and then had it stolen from them at the last minute unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. So yeah, it, you know, it's it's going to be a great match, isn't it? One way or the other, you, you two great teams. You would think so, Jim. We, we thought the last one would be, and then when we saw Jimmy wasn't there, we thought it wouldn't be, and then it was anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get to ringside. Let's hope they all show up. <laughs> <laughs> The Andorans had some teamwork problems last week, didn't they? It's, it's not a Marcel match, at least, Jim. Hmm. True. Here, here on Monday Night Claw, if we say we're going to have a match, 90% of the time we will. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah. Well, now they've come out matching attires. Storr has, uh, has made the effort to wear his Andoran colours. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll work better as a team now. It, it, it took him an extra week to uh, to save up for the outfit, Jim, on, on JFW wages. But yeah. but here it is. Having all been spent on Skurametso's entrances. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, they're getting booed heavily. <laughs> not, not a lot, Ansi. <laughs> Boy, Howdy. If Store did grow, it isn't going to show compared to these two. <laughs> yep. Yeah. me. I, I think these two have an unbelievably great future ahead of them, Jim. I was so pleased with the new tag teams last week. These might just be my favorites of the bunch. <laughs> these are future two heads champions in the making. Mark my words. They got off to a slight hiccupy start last week, but it really was a shocking turnaround in a match that they dominated. And I think they'll finally uh, get their first W tonight at second attempt against the Andorans. But they're no slouches. This is a great match on paper. Yeah, Storr's had an incredible solo career, incredible tag career. Volk, the greatest Wimdorf champion of all time. So yeah, this is, uh, this is certainly two great teams, potentially. Oh, oh, oh my word! <laughs> Classic Gengar devastation. Oh, oh God. my! Come on, Store, fight, please. There we go. Store ducks one. They're taking uh, a few pummeling shots. Oh. oh, not bad, but he can't get him down. Oh no! And he's going for a ride. <laughs> oh, what God. a mismatch in size this is, Jim. <laughs> Isn't it just holy moly? Thankfully, at least if he ever gets in the ring, uh, Volkvagor, since being blessed by the Chaos Gods, is a pretty mighty size himself. Yeah. And he was never a slouch, but he's, uh, he's definitely put on a couple of stone of muscle. Oh, you sure. Americans out there, that is 28 pounds. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, that the Americans use pounds but not stone? Yeah, that they use the actual same system as us, and yet, yeah, only, only use the lower measurement. Yeah. That, that is really unusual. <laughs> oh! Double 
team. DDT. <laughs> into suplex. But Gengar finds the sneaky tag to sick as eggs. And oh my word, he just runs through. Volk, Volk survives it. And then gets crushed out again by a clothesline. And this time he stays down. Oh, lovely rake to the decaying eyes. Everybody cheering for Sickers Eggs. They know him around the world. Incredible capture by the JFW to get the world famous Tomb Guardian Sickers Eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, which show did he have to go on? Monday Night Claw. Old baby. Oh my god, dude. I just, I just read Pookie's cum. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, nobody needed to imagine that, but you know, it's just what I read. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm also going to fan Hancock Bunny because of how fucking hot it is. Wow, what a move. What a move from Sick as Egg. The world famous. The world famous Kemri catapult. I guess that's why. A few maneuvers like that, and uh, you're going to go viral around the world on many social media platforms. <laughs> Volk isn't moving. Volk is not responding to the onslaught. I think they've done him in already, Jim. Yeah, maybe they have. Oh, oh no. no. What's this? Oh, oh my God. word. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Neither have I. Holy moly. Sheesh, and that was from eight feet up in the air. No. Oh, fight back. Oh, one. lovely counter. Volk, back in it. Can he get over to Store? He could do with the tag. He's taking a beating <laughs> already. But then so did Store before. The Andorans just gonna have to run off adrenaline and instinct here. That's exactly what Volkogor is doing. <laughs> oh, he's the answer to the head. Let's go. Oh my word. He times this by decay. This is gonna be devastating. <laughs> Wins it. Sick better save him. It's not. Not going for the pin. Not going the for the pin. Crazy. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. The old half Nelson suplex, incredible maneuver. The Andorran special. <laughs> yeah, it does knock many a JFW stoops are out cold, and Gengar was not moving. Sick as eggs makes the save and pay the price now as Storr finally cuts him off a little too late to win the match, but maybe <laughs> enough. If oh. Volk can put Gengar away one more time, it's over, Jim. Storr's gonna fly! Wow. Oh my goodness! Storr just killed Sick as Eggs! Amazing. Look at this, Volk! That could be it! If, Volk's if Volk goes for the pin! Gengar. Wow, Sick as Eggs already up. That's why he's world famous. And Gengar that... with, a, with a counter. Yeah, that is some really, really impressive powers of recuperation for Sick. I, I thought he was down for a long, long time there, but he proved us all wrong. And uh, yeah, Gengar as well looked in a bad, bad way. But he's turned things around. What's he got in mind here for Volkvigor in the corner? Oh, oh God. my God, oh my goodness. Crosses <laughs> him into massive, massive belly to belly. Like surely nobody's done to Volkvigor before. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, here we go. Kick to the head. <laughs> oh, he gets no, out the way. Out. I think he deflected it with his horns, Jim. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, oh Buffalo no, power. not for long. Oh, oh. Storr just about getting away. Early kick out from Volk, and he's up! He's up! Oh, my God. How's he got this? Two Gengar from Bryson Park. the middle practice. turnbuckle. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to go on tag, but he's just teeing off on Gengar. Yeah, ground and pound. Oh, <laughs> These superstars in the ring now, both legal men could do it, making the tag, particularly Volkvigor, but he is in control right now. He really should lease some of that control over to Storr. Come on. Oh no, he God. wants to win it by himself, Jim. <laughs> or at least with Storr making the save, or preventing the save, rather, from Sicker's Eggs. The half Nelson again. Oh. Gengar definitely down for the count, but it's right in the corner, right next to Sicker's Eggs. Oh, he's he's dragging it. him over. He knows he's got time. He knows it. Surely from here, Storm makes the save. It's over, Jim. It's gonna be no, look how fast sick his eggs is. Wow. Lip me, that is genuinely lightning, and he gets out as well. <laughs> Storm can't get his hands on him. Crazy fast for a Tomb Guardian. Yeah. 
Definitely double move up. <laughs> mm. Finally, vote for go. Go for the tag. Yeah. That is bad, bad news for Gengar, who has hardly moved. Was he playing possum, though? It would appear so, and he's going to make the tag. We've got the two fresh men. The match starts anew. <laughs> and the world famous 6 eggs do his thing. He certainly cut off whatever store was trying there. <laughs> oh, he brings Gengar straight back in. <laughs> okay, well, this is going to be painful for Stoll. Yeah, this is going to be incredible, but I don't know about the wisdom of having Gengar in without letting him rest after such a long stint and so much damage taken. Let's see if they prove me wrong. Oh, my word. So far, they certainly are. Sit down, Powerbomb. Hangs on. Volk doesn't see it in time. What? <laughs> well, he's pretty fresh, I guess, this star. And, and I always forget because he's he, he isn't the biggest, but he is incredibly durable. Yeah. It's very, very hard to put store away in any match. Yep. But if anybody can do it, it's the world famous Sick as Egg. <laughs> oh, oh man. Can he dodge this? Oh no. No. <laughs> absolutely not. Ate it full force and follows it up with another for good measure. Camel clutch? Not exactly, but it's mm. it looks devastating. Somehow, Storm powers out. Wow, got the <laughs> leverage there. Wrapping his arm around the ankle. Virtually trips it off oh, and self rock bottom. Sick <laughs> desperately going for a tag or, or clambering to his feet whilst dazed. It isn't going to help. Here come the clotheslines. <laughs> wow. A halfling knows how to fly, Jim. Yeah, incredible stuff. They're the only thing in the animal kingdom to get thrown out the nest by the tree. <laughs> oh no, Storm. Oh no. This is too far. <laughs> it uh, would, would appear to be too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, not afraid to try and to miss. Bless him. Always, always ready to give it a go. Oh my, oh man. Oh, my. oh, oh no. From bad to worse to even worse. Volk's in Volk. and missed. He's missed. <gasps> oh Storm my having to kick out as, uh, as Volk for Gore. Swing and a miss at Sick as Eggs. Yeah. Stoll was too far away, then Volk was too far away. <laughs> you know, maybe two Guardians not big enough to, uh, to connect with when you throw a kick. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. Still going for a cheeky pin. I don't think it's going to be enough. Maybe it's enough. What oh the heck? Oh my god! What? What did he even? What? What did he finish it with? I don't know. Just a move. <laughs> Sick. We uh, we might have a problem here with the world famous six eggs, Jim. <laughs> yeah. He was the freshest man out of the four, by far. Yeah. I think, uh, I think he might have some decay issues, or maybe the fame's gone to his head and he hasn't been training properly. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but maybe it was the, just the new kit for Storm made them work better as a team, and that was it. Well, yeah, certainly don't want to take away from the glory that is the Andorans. <laughs> they earned this one tonight. They fought on hard. They nearly lost on many an occasion, but they uh, they just wouldn't be put away. Yeah. Oh, yeah Store is the giant yeah. killer. It's true. He just finds that secret button. Yeah. Unbelievable. He really is. Yeah, that was a good point. That was a good point that we should have mentioned. It. Of course, Store has beaten like Goliath and stuff, hasn't he? He's uh, yeah, no, B's. If Folk for Gore had done a bit more, maybe they'd have won even quicker. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, the backstabber, yeah, that's what it was. Well, now we've got Physics versus Jack Bull. Jack Bull with a new Among Us-like attire. <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> oh, baby, it, it certainly is. That uh, that might be all it needs for, uh, for Jack Bull to find his form and get his tasks done, brother, and win a JFW match. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely need to do your tasks, brother. Sound effect. Holy moly. <laughs> well, I've just realized I didn't put sound effects back on. Oh, they're already on back on. Good. 
Right, let's get to ringside. Pin your opponent, brother. <laughs> Brilliant. Here is the JFW star with it all. The brains, the brawn, the speed, the agility, the durability, the strength, the charisma, and the gown. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Jackball has uh, certainly bitten off the very most he could chew, I'm sure, tonight. Yep. Physics uh, recently, often the bridesmaid, never the bride, gets some big wins, gets himself into some big matches, but You're then like falls the, uh, just like short. He's going to look to go one better, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a, a long road back, and uh, that road starts now. Yeah. The gas is really bad. I don't even know what that command is. Defending the ball is so oh, yeah, yeah. Boy. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Boy, howdy. It's, it's the Sheriff of Among Us. Do your test, brother. Looking as good as he's ever looked. <laughs> this could be his time to shine. And he'd certainly be making a huge statement if he got the win against Physics. Yep. I, I think the commentator made a mistake there, Jim. She said he's from America. <laughs> where Where is he from? Oh, I, he's a JFW superstar. And he's actually from America, so... It <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't seem right. Fair enough. <laughs> we do exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a few. There's a few. I mean, the the greatest of all time, right? Tony plays poorly. I mean, N Night Demon's clearly from the afterlife. <laughs> How Howdy, Nick's American, but that's a good example. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Connor, yeah. That probably is. <laughs> oh, wow. What a manoeuvre. Yeah, great start from, from physics. I, I really think Jack Ball's going to have to find something huge. This could even be a squash match in physics' favour, which would be a sad start for, uh, for the Among Us Jack Ball. <laughs> we, we could do that if you want, Jack Ball. <laughs> bezel, bezel pants. <laughs> 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 that would look pretty good, I think. Oh, dear. Well, it's all physics so far, Jim. I, I'm really rooting for Jackball in this one, but uh, but I fear the worst. Oh, there we go. Dodges the grapple that time, working on the legs. Some great MMA. Jackball does do a bit of MMA. Yeah. The Brazilian uh, Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, exactly. Whether he's calcium Kaz standard or not is, a, is another matter, but he's, he's probably better than 99% of the JFW roster. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Never got into a ground and pound myself. Mm. Sweeps the leg. And a half crab, Jim! Oh, he's what won. devastating, devastating maneuver, surely. No! Wow. I, I don't know how physics countered that. I really don't. <laughs> A devastating half crown. Jack Ball not being sent to the outside. And now in control against Physics. Lovely side headlock on the ground here. Really great strategy. Yeah. Gosh, he's got that locked in good. Physics really struggling. The original wrestling matches, Jim, used to last for many, many hours just like this. Yeah. 
And uh, it became a work because this did not sell tickets. <laughs> yep. But it's still good when they need a rest, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we've seen a few submissions tonight. Oof. Look at this from Jackball. Yeah. Physics did tap to something, oh. didn't he, recently? The fox lock, was it? So, like, you know, I guess he's, he, I guess Jack Will's realised that and he's gone after it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doubled down in training. And it's, uh, it's paying off so far tonight. Albert to the head flow from Physics. Physics back in control for now. Goes to the pin. Feels a little early. Yeah, just a one count. Yeah, absolutely, Store. I'm, I'm just saying that's better than most of us. <laughs> <I was. laughs> most Jeff W superstars would lose in a fight to an eight-year-old. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> in many ways, my body worked a lot better when I was eight than it does anymore. <laughs> yeah. All oh, physics to the top. We know how good he is up here. Oh boy. Oh, oh well. <laughs> made a bad decision there. Rare, rare brain fart from physics. Uh. Oh. oh man, he makes up for it there though. Yeah. Takes a moment to mock Jackball and then comes back in with the stomps. Before he has a chance to recover. Oh, but he took too long. Shoulder tackle takedown. Jackball going oh. up, showing him how it's done. The man with zero range. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> He's oh, doing it again! Oh, yes! This is fucking brilliant! Oh, no. <laughs> has more range than Jack Ball. Uh, gets physics at a side headlock. <laughs> Holy shit, that's incredible. <laughs> I love how he just did it and tried again like it'll work this time. <laughs> oh dear. It's amazing. Lovely side headlock again though. Held physics for a long time. Physics finally able to counter it but doesn't hold on half as long with his own. And really, really great work in the arms into a DDT. Oh, no. Oh, Jim. He'd have this one if he could fly more than two feet in the air. Oh, he got, oh, him. got him. He got him. It's over, surely. Oh. Oh. Heroic kick out from physics. Oh, he God. must have been really shocked when Jabal actually connected. I know, right? Good air, cocky. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oh. What a DDT! So, um, sorry, <laughs> what a pile driver! Yeah. And he's going for that submission, and after all that, this might do it, actually. This really could. It could. Oh, gosh, every time he cuts, I think he's tapping. <laughs> Somehow finds a way out, whips Chapel into the corner, and Physics finally get on a roll here. It's been a while. Oh, looks like we might be going for something like a superplex. That is bad, bad news for Jack Ball. Oh, no. Oh, boy. It is a superplex. Oh, my goodness. Oh. So far up, so far down. Undoubtedly even takes it out of physics. But he's the first to recover. No, he would go he green arrow, maybe. Tissue. I think so. Green Time apple, to defy leaf. gravity, baby. No. Oh. Oh. An elbow, might have right? broke his back. He might have done. He's way bigger than Jack Bull, isn't he? It's like it's scary how how like you know he does all this crazy top rope stuff, and he's oh, a giant. Oh, man. oh dear. Oh, the ref, uh, the ref collided with physics. He looks a little stunned there, Jeb. Yeah, doesn't he just? <laughs> that might have just given Jack Bull the moment he needs. Physics swinging oh, a miss as well, and then Jack Bull counters the next one and busts him open. Oh my god. Oh, it's being tangled though. <laughs> Yeah, great hip toss counter by Physics. Needs to catch his breath though, especially with that blood streaming down his face. Less oxygen getting to the brain. Really needs a rest. He is mm -hmm. gone, Jim. This is the problem with being the size he is and going to the top rope. Yeah, very good point. 
Hunt's jackpot in the gut as he was trying to find the ropes to recover. Again, clambering to his feet just barely. But only to take a side suplex from Physics. Chapel really struggling, but Physics absolutely spent. Can Physics oh. hold on for the big move to win it? Well, that could well be it, Jim. Oh, God, this could be it. That looks so locked in. Even Houdini ain't getting out of that. <laughs> Well, oh. Jack Bull must be magic. Well, to be <laughs> honest, I think Physics just ran out of uh, the energy to hold it. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Oh, here comes Jack Bull. Punch to the gut. Clambers just about to his feet. Oh, boy. Oh, oh what a oh, counter. Oh, Physics with an unbelievable counter. Incredible. Whips him to the corner. And then knocks it in. <laughs> He's just exhausted, Jim. He's absolutely gone. He is, he's blown yeah. up. Oh my god, now he's going for another superplex. This is this is gonna take even more out of himself as well as Jabble. Yep. I, I, I kinda want the ref to stop this and call it a draw. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? It really would. It'd be the the merciful thing. Let them fight another day. They've they've gone toe to toe for ages now. And uh, nobody's got the upper hand. We haven't found a winner. And I'm, I'm worried how this is going to leave them both. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, man. This again, Jim. Surely this time. Surely. Got to be. Great effort from Jabal. But he's yeah. going to tap. There we go. And the incredible superstar that is physics. Deservedly winning. But, man, he had to work hard. Didn't he just? And it looks like he's broken the game. No, here we go. Kepler <laughs> had a really long period of dominance in the middle of that. Nearly put Physics away a few times. But then uh, when Physics got back control at the end, he never gave it up again. And eventually, yeah. just time and time again, cinching in that submission, uh, one was too many. Yep. <laughs> Sexual Congress just took a bit too much out of me. <laughs> and now he's playing his music. That was weird, wasn't it? That was like, that was something really wrong there. But never mind. Well done, Physics. Great win. Crimson Mask. There to remind him of what he had to go through and that he was still able to do it. Pick yep. Pick up the win. Will we see physics in a big title match soon? At this rate, yes. Hmm. Well, speaking of big titles. Next, we've got the extra arms belt champion himself, Peppered Biscuit, in action versus Bazaar. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, I, I've said it before. It's worth saying again. Uh, unless somehow Jim finds the perfect moment to cash in money in the bank contract and, and money in the ass contract and to be fair it looks like he wants to, to cash that in on Friday night stand firm I think Pepper Biscuit is going to be the extra arms belt champion for an incredibly long length of time Bezel and his being extra arms bot keep going at him and eventually they keep being thrown back away you know there, there's just no way they're not finding a way through but uh, Bezel is going to try again. It's very brave, Jim. You've got to give him that. It's very, very brave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bezel. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? I had, I had a dream that the uh, that the actual official double double E money in the bank pit view was called money in the ass. <laughs> I just changed it. <laughs> How amazing would that I, be? I love you, Jim, but you know Martin Luther King. <laughs> How amazing would that be? <laughs> that, would, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> ten channel points. Wow, holy. I always do ten channel points on Elliot losing. <laughs> Sorry. I just can't. There's too much value, right? I always whack my ten rowdies on an Elliot loss. <laughs> when he's, when he's <laughs> Too much value to say no. Like I never think he's gonna lose, but uh, it has gotta, to happen sometimes. You've got to go for the value, haven't you? You do. It's true. Hmm. 
Maybe I guess if he if he if he uh, if he streamed the practice matches versus Rick Reckless, maybe maybe then he'd be expected <laughs> to lose. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Steve. There was like he had a kiss my ass match and stuff in in Madrid with the money in the ass and stuff, and it was just Vince like doing all promos. And it was tot It would be totally believable to call it money in the ass, like totally believable. Wow. The glorious ring walk. The one wrestling superstar whose robe you wish would stay on. <laughs> he's a heck of a performer though Jim he's caused bigger upsets than well I don't know about bigger upsets he's caused some unbelievably big upsets in his time and uh, so I wouldn't completely put it past him tonight but this does feel like about a five second squash match I mean he's a hell of a wrestler but yeah he's yeah he's up against it, it, it oh god <laughs> it would be true of uh, of anybody on the roster right now to be fair I can't think of anyone starting in a fair one on one match against Pepper Biscuit that I'd fancy to win or even get close exactly okay great start from Bezel this is exactly what he needs a hot start and uh, and then if he can can uh, can settle the storm if he can get through the middle part where Pepper Biscuit's trying to put him away maybe he can find a finish of his own if he's weakened him to start with really really good from Bezel here <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. What the heck is that? He's added that to his repertoire. <laughs> oh. Okay, Bezel fighting back. Bezel. I, I thought this was already the beginning of the end, but no. Lovely right hand. Oh, and a great snap suplex. Come on, Bezel. Incredible. Oh, knee to the gut. It's exactly what he needs. Yeah. Elbows to the shoulder, weakening every part of Pepper Biscuit until he's uh, physically an equal. <laughs> Count. That just goes to show exactly the mountain he's got to climb today, Jim. Yeah, it doesn't. No just... progress made. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is this is the Oof. Everest of the JFW. Oh. <laughs> Tony, I guess Tony plays poorly. He's the K2. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, good boy is some uh, some third really big mountain. Yeah. <laughs> and Marcel's the Mariana Trench. <laughs> <laughs> well, Be Bezel's at least Snowden. <laughs> yeah. Pepper Biscuit, unfortunately, in control. This is not what we want to see if we want a competitive match up here. Oh, jawbreaker counter. This is exactly what we want to see if we want a competitive match up here. But Pepper Biscuit oh, swats away the crossbody attempts, not once but twice. Comes in with clubbing left and right. Oh, Bezel counters with a right of his own. Bezel will need Whips to the corner. Drop oh, kick, this. lands it. <laughs> and another. Incredible. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank God he's got that angle on this move. <laughs> yes. Although the, the ref could be better. Um, <laughs> nearly, yeah, nearly causing an upset there. That was a really, really nice sneaky attempt to put him away. Mm. Never know when someone's going to tap out. Yeah, PB oh, has tapped just, out before. Just dumped to the outside with no ceremony whatsoever. And he's stalking his prey, Jim. Oh, he took too long. He took too long stalking. At some point, you have to attack. Oh. Could, we've seen one upset count out already tonight, Jim. Could we see a second? Oh, my God. Imagine that. It's happening. You have to fall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he counters oh. and gets back in. That was good strategy, though, from Bezel. It's probably, oh, the only way he could win, apart from that devastating drop kick to the knee. Well, yeah, we always say, go for the bigger guy's legs. Is that even a one count? This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is pretty insane, yeah. Holy shit. Bezel's done about as well as anybody could have hoped to have done in the opening 10 minutes of this match. 
and he got a, possibly a no count. Borderline one count. Oh my god. At any moment that Pepper Biscuit takes control, it's about three moves away from being over. <laughs> what was this? Well, that was a weird decision. Yeah. A bit of a coordinated modern dance. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, that's one of the moves. What a move. Counter by Bezel. How? <laughs> How has he recovered? What the hell? Bezel. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. He's feeling it, Jim. <laughs> Woo. You've got to love a booty pop and moon salt. <laughs> Come on, one count. Let's, let's make some progress. A two, a two, two count. Two, all right. And the ref took a while to get down. Okay, he's finally broken through the floodgates. Team oh, Driver, Jim, he's got it. Oh, the upset of all upsets. Oh. oh, so close. So close. He is getting out of breath now, but look at the fans go crazy for him. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Whips Pepper Biscuit into the corner. Turns him around. Come on. Pull this, this is, off. This is as good as a count as we've seen anyone give against PB recently. That's an incredible stuff. This is basically a perfect match from Bezel so far. If you were to plan a strategy out piece by piece to try and wear down to eventually put away Pepper Biscuit, not by some cheap count out or disqualification in a way that would actually win you a title, were it a title match, this is exactly it. So yeah. far from Bezel. Up to the apron. Oh, God. Oh, and then <laughs> brought back inside with the DDT. Could this finally be the turning point? Every time he's taken a move so far, Jim, he's followed it up with a counter. And, and he does it again. Wow. And he does it again. Uppercut. Slips underneath oh. DDT. Bravo. Bezel on absolute fire. This is the kind of form that allowed him to beat Demon Prince Rick Reckless. <laughs> on his day, he beats the best and the baddest of the JFW. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> the stink face. <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> oh my god. Pepper Biscuit hasn't experienced anything like that before. I can tell you. He's done it. Surely. Oh, oh my god! Oh man! <laughs> so close! And the Benz Oh, stick face! This time! Sorry, <laughs> T-Bag driver! Yes! yes! Bezel! The perfect man! The perfect man! He beats the champion! Oh my god! I don't believe it! Holy moly! Holy moly! Surely that puts Bezel one match away from being the extra arms belt champion. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. A, a repeat of tonight, and we are looking at the new champ. The problem is, Pepper Biscuit will go away, study this tape, work out what the heck went wrong, and come out a completely fresh man next time, I would imagine. You would think so, yeah. Holy moly. Take mold. nothing away. Bezel just did what so many thought was impossible. And I tell you what he's done, Jim. He hasn't only earned himself probably a title shot of his own. He will have boyoed every single wrestler in the backstage of the JFW of Monday Night Claw that they too can actually find a way to beat what seemed like a completely undefeatable monster. Yep. Oh, dear. Incredible. Unbelievable. Well, now we've got the uh, the winner's bracket of the tag team match, tag team tournament. We've got the Ninja Turtles versus the Rockers. Probably need a better name than the Rockers, but there you go. The Entertainers here. The, the Rockers uh, might, might have some history of being a pretty cool tag team name in wrestling. Who knows? Yeah, yeah that's why I did it, but... Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, man. Yeah, uh, crazy. Like, uh, the, the Ninja Turtles, absolutely fantastic team, and they, they executed beautifully last week. I can't wait to see them again now. The Rockers, though, had a bit of a history of falling just short, or maybe even a bit further than that, but and then were getting absolutely pummeled last week, Jim, only to unbelievably pull the winner out of the bag. Nobody saw it coming. 
particularly their opponents, and that might be why they were able to do it, but credit to them, do it, they did. Yep, let's get to ringside. Wait, wait a minute. This isn't, this isn't the tag, this is Mr. Jim McMahon. Well, I just thought I'd come out here to say that I've been watching all of my top talent very closely these past few weeks. First, we've got some incredible tag teams reaching up to grab my big brass ring. And of course, the unstoppable EAB belt champion who just lost. <laughs> <laughs> and countless others who continue to make Claw the best Monday night Blood Bowl themed AI wrestling presentation on the planet. But there's one squeaky wheel on my roster who just doesn't seem to get it. One squeaky wheel who wants nothing to do with my show. One squeaky wheel who vomits conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory as to why he's not at the top of the card. Whether it's, well, I got knocked off a cage by a wrecking ball I didn't see coming and lost my match. Or, wow, I wasn't tall enough to reach the briefcase of money in the ass and lost my match. It seems like Tony plays poorly. Can't, just can't seem to shake the fact that he's a t-shirt selling has been. Well, he's also not wrong, because someone is out to get him. It's me, Tony. It was me all along. That's right, Tony. I've heard every one of your complaints since before I even wasted my first round pick on you. You want to go home to Daddy Gorilla? Well, tough shit. Because you know what? You still, incredibly, make me a lot of money right where you are at the bottom of the card on Monday Night Claw. So you better start coming to terms with it. You aren't on a show anymore, Tony. You're in your own fucking grave, and I'm going to bury you. See ya. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Whoa! We finally find out who's been behind the holding down of Tony Plays Paulie. What's he gonna ha do or have to say about that? Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Flip me. Unbelievable. Well, I might not talk for the next <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> fair, fair play, fair play. <laughs> Let's, uh, let Jimmy Ventura take over. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we are, thank goodness. Okay, we are getting this wonderful, wonderful match in the winner's bracket of the Two Heads Championship <laughs> tournament. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. JFW now with less, less yeps for the next half an hour. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Goodness me. So, yeah, t Tony's career could be over. Yeah. Jim, that, you know, he, that might be it. He's just there to sell t-shirts and fight jobbers and uh, never, ever going to get the title again, but just uh, just make money for James McMahon on Monday Night Claw. It seems, seems fair to me, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I bet it does after he beat you in a in a two v one handicap. Not you, sorry, not you. Of course, Rick Schiavone, not Rick Schiavone, the wrestling commentator. After he beat your best friend Rick Reckless in a two on one handicap match. Sorry, I don't know why I get you two mixed up. It's the same with Skurumetsu and Gorilla Metsu. Yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Really weird. A bit like you and Crusher and the whole horse thing as well. Maybe I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> All right, so obviously after a debut win, that's why they're in this match. We have the Ninja Turtles. Splinter and uh, I can't remember who we decided that uh, that Odon was. Everybody in chat had a had a different opinion. But whatever it is, these two have chemistry, and it's uh, I I'm sorry, Jim. I just I can't say that the Rockers have a chance at this one. Surely. The Ninja Turtles are going on to the final. Oh, yes. Oh, Donatello. Donatello, nice. Nice puzzle. <laughs> congratulations, sir. That isn't to say that these two 
of probably the most entertaining JFW superstars we have today. They, they know how to entertain you in the ring. They know how to entertain you on the mic, on the camera. Whatever it is, they can do it. And they will brighten your day. But, uh, but oh boy, they don't normally win. Somehow they found a way last week. I do think they were slightly underestimated by their opponents. And I'm sure that the Ninja Turtles won't make that same mistake tonight. That being said, I hope they prove me wrong. Mm. PC's an amazing singles competitor, but he's just never quite had it in tag team competition for some reason. Mm. I think we're, it's just we're yet to comments, see, you know? Yeah, well, there, there is that. We're, we're yet to see too much from Hellboy in either, unfortunately. <laughs> mm. Love, love the guy. Absolutely love the guy. But uh, so far, a wrestler he is not. He <laughs> takes a DDT. <laughs> I'm and desperate saying for that, they won last week. Sorry, I, I need to give them more credit until yeah. this one's over. They might be about to make me absolutely eat my words and be in the final of the Two Heads Championship tournament. And in, in which case, yeah, I, I need to keep my opinions to myself for a moment and just call this. Let's see if they can uh, they can get it done tonight. Okay, this is in fact nice from Hellboy working over Chun to counter. Big clawed feet to the gut. Oh, and what a running bulldog. Um, does uh, does Hellboy blitz on a, a three and a half strength, Jim? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Half horns for like ten TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like half a stat for half the cost would be amazing. Like half strength mm. would be actually incredible. Yeah, it really would. <laughs> Wow, Hellboy with the tag, and uh, I often say, the uh, the team that tags the most. No, I've done it again. There's no flipping rhyme with that. Why do I why do I try and say that at the moment? <laughs> the I team... remember not to try, not to come up with that saying. <laughs> the team that tags together stays together. <laughs> yeah, so, something like that. No, it's gonna rhyme with tags though. Like rags together. That's oh, that's awful. <laughs> Like, there's no good word. No the team good that word tanks that together tank. shanks together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lad. Get <laughs> <laughs> <Hit> me. <laughs> really got to stop trying to make that a thing. Right. <laughs> but, I think you should keep going. <laughs> <laughs> my original point being, they're doing really well. Yeah. Cowboy and PC doing an absolute number on Chunter. <laughs> Look at this stall power, power bomb! Oh my god! I don't think that was a power bomb. <laughs> oh, he, he waited too long. He got countered and double underhook, backbreaker. Wow, you don't see that very often. I think I think I think PC forgot who he was wrestling there. And was <laughs> oh dear me. He, he certainly did. Oh, this is a nice counter, though, from PC. Sweeps the leg. Not the best start from Odont. This would be good timing. Here we go. Really nice, efficient tagging again from the Rockers. Yeah. Double whip. Oh, up and over. Odont landing right on that shell. Yeah, there you go. They've been tagging the most. They've probably been shagging the most, seeing as they're up against a turtle and a rat. <laughs> I'm still going through the flipping alphabet. There's nothing good. Brags together, blacks together, drags together. It's terrible. Oh, it could be drags together, right? With PC, he likes he likes the uh, he likes the smoke. <laughs> that's <doesn't> that's <laughs> true. We, we need uh, we need PC and Aldo Dorito as a tag team, and then that's definitely true. <laughs> Whips, uh, whips out on into the corner. Back elbow to Hellboy. Here comes Chunter. I think oh, tagging Chunter Shag's the best. <laughs> man on fire. Oh, wow. That was an amazing move. Oh, and DDT. Chunter definitely found his second win here. Hellboy in all sorts of trouble. Drags fags together. <laughs> Can he get him? The golden walls of Chuterino. There it is. There it is. One of the quickest ever tag team finishes we've had. No. 
Wow, Hellboy, one of the rare superstars to get out of the Golden Walls of Chunturino without <laughs> help from his friend. And he's going to make the tag. This is brilliant tagging from the Rockers, Jim. It is, yeah. And you can tell because they're brilliant taggers, they must be brilliant shaggers as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's entertaining us with his acting. <laughs> Glorious. But he, he took a little too long over the acting and Chunter now in full force, in full swing. Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh-oh. Cracks the code. <laughs> this is the code breaker guy. <laughs> The uphill block, isn't it? <laughs> the uphill code breaker. Wow. PC. We know he can go. He can go in the ring, PC. No. He's got that toughness. And another tag. Wow. It's just brilliant. Yeah, great tagging. Elbow taking it to the outside. Oh, to but... catch him with a hit and some chops. No counter so far. There we go. Chop of his own from Elbow. And a beautiful Ooh. uppercut. He's got a big hand. He's got half a big hand, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's got half arms <laughs> and half a big hand. He, he really does. <laughs> he ignores every other tackle zone, picking up the ball. <laughs> oh, beautiful counter from Chunter. Oh, great counter. But Hellboy brushes off, yeah, brushes off the forearm, and it's going to be another tag. Oh my it God. is! They've got it, Jim! They've got it! By gum, they've got it! What a well-oiled machine these two are. Where did this come from? Oh, they oh, can't stop the hot tag. Oh. We might not see each other for a while. PC bounces back. Oh, it's another drop kick and gets up again. And it's a clothesline. And this time struggling, trying for the hot tag himself. Doesn't make it. Odon doing a good job. Spinebuster needs to keep this control whilst Chunter's down. That could Let be it. Me. Oof. Nearly. Hellboy, Hellboy thinking about me. breaking it up, but uh, saw that PC was going to kick out. PC still struggling, though. Wow, oh, yeah, jelly Dr. leg Bomb. there. Oh, no. A Dante Bomb. Oosh. Hellboy definitely going to have to break this one up. There's no chance to counter that. Oh. He just Got doesn't him. come in. This is where they, they see the tag. They, this week they got the tagging, Jim, but they didn't get the saves part. There's still so much work to do on the Rockers. Maybe they'll get there one day, but I'm just not surprised to see the Ninja Turtles win. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, Hellboy just not coming in to break it up. Oh, no, he, he did come in. He was just super slow. No, no, no. That, oh, was, that the, was the earlier one. Oh. That was the earlier one, yeah. He didn't come in at all on the second one. Wow. It's a work in progress, Jim. Yeah. They'll get there. Yeah. Maybe. Well, there you go. The Ninja Turtles in the final. Uh, but were you not entertained, Jim? Oh, yeah, I was entertained. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal new tag team in the JFW. I am very excited by these two, and they might well be our two heads tournament winners come next week. They might be. But to win it, they're going to have to beat either the Pay Tato wins <laughs> or North and South. You'd strongly fancy the Pay Tato win, but. Uh... But man, North and South just keep doing it, Jim. <laughs> they do, don't they? <laughs> Against all odds. <laughs> I I want to say that they're the underdogs. I, I can't find the words. I, I don't know who's winning this one. In all honesty, I really don't. And of course, there has been a Mega Greggs opened in Leicester Square. <laughs> so maybe maybe that's going to, uh, you know, increase the, the, the team the teamwork between Ancy and... <laughs> to Scotty bridge the gap between the North and South. How, how many sausage rolls can uh, can De Scotty eat on a hot day like this, Jim? Oh, probably only about twenty. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's about half the power of his normal days. Yeah. I, I think he might struggle here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh dear. 
<laughs> Bezel with, I guess this is the main event for the prediction. Is this the main event, Jim? This is the main event, yep. Oh, baby. This is it, because this will be finding out who who our, who our final is for next week. Beautiful. <laughs> I love Clavius here. <laughs> Stupid face. <laughs> it just works so well, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Jim. You, you've actually got a pun that works this week. Oh, baby. <laughs> Way. <laughs> Way. <laughs> this is uh, a devastating team at its core, isn't it? Noalius especially. Uh, an absolute beast. You, you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. I wouldn't really want to meet him in a JFW ring. No. North and South, though. Often, uh, ignorance is bliss, Jim. And they, they never seem to be too intimidated when... May, maybe if they're a little smarter, they might be. Yeah. And I, just quietly, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Clavius. He, he, is, he is a class wrestler. He is. And I, lo I love his ears and his eyebrows. <laughs> wow. Well, they were once the joke of the JFW. They were the butt of the Two Heads Tag Team Division. They would lose every match in mere minutes, in new and more terrible ways every time. And then I don't know what happened. Some magic dust sprinkled from the heavens. A shooting star passed and they made a wish. And all of a sudden, they found a win. And another, and another. And the egg grew on our faces as we called them the underdogs. And they proved us wrong time and again until eventually they got their title shots. And they won them. And then eventually they lost and we thought that was it. We thought it was over. The miracle was done. And here they are again in the semi-final of the Two Heads Tag Team Tournament. Can they go one further? Can they be our finalists next week? Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, baby. We've got Ansi versus Noalis. This is not what I'd have picked as North and South. <laughs> no. And uh, Ansi immediately sent flying into his own corner in a test of strength. But then he sneaks around the back and look at this. <laughs> Tentacle wrestling winning out over brute power. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, but then the power overtakes. Just clubbed down to his knees onto his front. Oh, dear. That didn't last long. Okay. We, we have seen Ansi survive many a beating before in the past. He's really, really going to have to be dogged and determined tonight. It's going to hurt if he wants the win. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Completely ragdolled. And again, oh, man. <laughs> it's as if he weighs nothing. <laughs> oh, counter. How has he found that? After those two slams. Oh, baby. Drops him with a second jawbreaker and finds the tag. Wow. It's exactly what they need. Yeah, great they stuff from Ansi. Really, really good. They are the veteran tag team in this one, of course. But look at the power of Noalius. That is superhuman. <laughs> Oh, but to Scotty, anything you can do, I can uh, eat sausage roll. <laughs> Takedown for Noalius, though. My goodness me. You wouldn't think he was the smaller man out of the two when they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe, but wisely makes the tag to take that breather as to Scott is the fresh man. And look at Clavius wipe through him. 
The Scotty, though, catches him, taking him over, maybe for a tag of his own. Snapmare takedown. Nice little kick to the back. He is. He's going to tag. Really, really good quick taking from north and south. Here comes Ansi. Incredible. Fresh man versus fresh man. Whips him into the corner. Oh, flying forearm. Very nice. Man, Clavis is struggling. Thought we'd see a little bit more from him here. Absolutely no counters or anything so far, Clavius. And another tag. They are a, a team alight at the moment. They are sprayed with WD40. <laughs> but there we go. Finally, something from Clavius, but he hangs on too long. Does Scotty coming back now? Elbows to the gut over and over again. Eventually, Clavius breaks his hold. Oh, but he throws the Scotty away. The Scotty touches. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Tucks the clothesline. Neck breaker. Picks him up. Oh. Oh, what a move. Oh, my goodness. Flying, swinging clothesline all in one. Cuts off the hot tag and slaps in a beautiful uh, headlock of sorts. Just yanking that neck. Going to get all the cricks out. No. Hello, Fox Lady. Oh, wow. The Scotty struggling to lift Clavius Ooh. there. A Luthez press of sorts. Yeah. The Scotty going for the hot tag. Clavius going for the tag. We're going to see the double tag. Maybe. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, no. Clavius sees the tag and changes his mind. Gets absolutely wiped out by Ansi. Oh, only to counter it. And finally, here is Noalius. Ansi stumbles to his feet, but too slowly. Oof. No, not too slowly, but he can't get Noalius down. <laughs> and he pays the price with a big right. Oh, ducks out of the way. Noalius knee into the turnbuckle. Huge kick, but it doesn't get him down. And again. Ooh. What is Noalius made of? Well, money, apparently. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Backbreakers to Ansi. Ground and pound. Oh, dear. <laughs> Quit me. Ah, you see, Wolfbark, what, what you need to do is get into a fight and then walk away from that. <laughs> Shoulder breaker from Ansi. This is better. This is more like it. Starting to work over Noalius. Finally getting the upper hand. Whips him into the corner. Oh, but the flying forearm misses. Brilliant dodge from Noalius. And a huge scoop. Fall away slam. What? Ansi rolls out the way of the stomp. Oh, my oh no. God. Oh, no. Oh. German suplex. suplex. City. There you go. Wow. Unbelievable. It's looking bad for Ansi. <laughs> it, it really is. They tag so well so far. He needs to find one more big time. Big time, and here comes Clavius for the double team. Oh, huge, huge. Toss over the shoulder for both men. Ansi somehow uppercut fighting back. Go for a suplex. Oh, he's oh. got it to the dire death drop. The dire death drop out of nowhere. He's good. Oof. Oh, Alias breaks it up. Is he going to pay? Oh, he's got Ansi. Does Scotty save oh. Ansi? Noalius counters it, though. No. Oh, ducks the super kick. <laughs> Ansi <laughs> thinks he got him. <laughs> Classic Ansi. <laughs> let's, uh, let, let's just let him think that. Yeah. Oh, lovely double axe handle takedowns on Clavius. Ducks out of the way. Rolls him up, kick to the head. Oh, he's feeling it now. He wants Noalius! Noalius wants him! What's going on, ref? <laughs> oh, he's just kicked him in the chops. Get out of here, Noalius. You're not the legal man. He pays the price. Ansi not having any of it. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Might have just knocked out Clavius with his knee. Might well he flex. Unfortunately, Clavius rolls the outside. Noalius again! Oh, Jim. my God. What's going on? Ansi gets the best of him again. I he's guess you can do what you want when you... <laughs> plays I guess you can do what you want when you've got this much money. <laughs> <laughs> But apparently
Money, you can't pay off Ansi. He doesn't know the meaning of money. <laughs> He's going for the non-legal <laughs> man. He's going to finish the non-legal man. Oh, my God. Right, pin him and ref count it. I want this one over. He is. He is. There was no tag. I don't understand. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, I'm bamboozled. The ref has been completely had. <laughs> I'm bamboozled. <laughs> that, that, is, that is one of the weirdest things. That is the most 80s tag team thing I have ever seen <laughs> in the JFW. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally going to watch this back later and see where that tag was because yeah. I, <laughs> it did not look like one to anybody. Yeah, there must have been like a blind tag. They do, they do that sometimes. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny be good must have been. <laughs> Package power bombs. No alias. Yeah. Even he must be done. Oh my goodness, does Scotty wants to give him more? Snap suplex three amigos of his own. <laughs> Incredible. That's what I mean, though, JBG. The old sleight of hand tags rarely actually connected back in the 80s. <laughs> He's got him! He's got him! He's got him! Got him. They've done it! Both and so! Oh my god! They never fail! Oh my god! They are in the Two Ends Championship final! They are one step away from another title shot! How on earth, baby? The miracle continues! The fairy story goes on! <laughs> <laughs> oh baby one day we will tell our children and their grandchildren and they will tell their grandchildren <laughs> of the wonders of north and south <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yep <laughs> oh, dear. incredible Incredible. <laughs> Whiskey <dude. laughs> well, There you go, unbelievable. So the the main event next week will be the Ninja Turtles versus North and South to decide who will be facing the Scousers for the Tag Team Championships at SummerSlam, which is just just over, uh, just like a couple of weeks away, isn't it? Unbelievable. Wow, Unbelievable. brilliant. And uh, there you go. Thank you very much, Rick, as always. Glorious. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, great to be here. Match after match tonight was absolutely fantastic. Thank you, sir, for my front row seat. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, JFW Universe. <laughs> yep, cheers for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.